Hi there, welcome back. Uh, today's video is going to be all of the skincare products that I brought with me on my recent vacation. I'm currently visiting my parents down in Virginia Beach. So I just filmed a video with all the beauty products or the makeup products that I brought, which surprisingly wasn't that much. I just brought like one of each. Like I brought one eyeshadow palette, one blush, uh, two lipsticks actually, like one mascara. I, like, I really pare it down over the years when it comes to makeup. I try not to, because I end up never wearing it. Like today's the first day that I wore makeup the whole time I've been down here. So, but my skincare, I, you know, I didn't bring too much. Um, well, too much for some people. <laughs> it wasn't too much for me. Um, so I brought like, I used some products for the morning and the night just on vacation here. So, but I brought full size of everything. I like to save all my samples for when I'm going to fly on a plane. Here we, we were able to drive down to Virginia Beach from New York. So um, I'd rather not like waste my samples on like a road trip where I can, you know, just put all my full size products in the back of the car. So everything here is going to be full size and um, I'm not going to bring, I didn't bring any samples for this time. So I'll try to go in order of how I used everything. And um, just, you know, give a quick little review on each. Most have been reviewed on the blog, so if you want any more, like, in-depth um, explanations of everything, uh, make sure to head to the blog. So first is the cleanser. Um, I normally double cleanse, so I use, like, an oil or a balm first and then follow up with, like, a milk or um, maybe a glycolic wash, sometimes foaming. I'm not a big foaming fan, but occasionally I'll find a foaming cleanser that works like the La Prairie one I've been using recently, and I really, really love that one. It's fantastic. So uh, the balm that I brought with me is the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. Really do love this uh, cleansing balm. It is probably one of my favorite cleansing balms. It's, um, you probably can't be able to see the, the texture, but it's kind of, kind of this is like white um, balm and it's just it's great at getting off makeup dirt it just will really cut through almost anything but it's very soft on the skin and um, it's not too you know kind of oily feeling some people don't like the feel of oils and balms and that sort of thing I don't find the texture to be like some balms which are really really thick or, or oily um, I just think it's a fantastic uh, product I also tried the cleansing oil from Clinique, the Take the Day Off cleansing oil, and was blown away. It's one of the best cleansing oils I've tried. Um, and I've been using this for quite some time, but I only use a little bit, so it will last you uh, quite a long time. A couple of people have asked me about this and should they give it a try, and uh, I say yes. Love this one. Next, uh, I've been following it up. So I double cleanse typically at night. In the morning, I only cleanse once. Um, and I kind of, I had used this cleanser and then I put it aside to try some other, so I pulled it out again and I was reminded of why it's so beautiful. Um, it's the Kate Somerville Purify Cleanser. It's kind of hard to see because the writing's in like a light blue. But it is a gel, it's an energizing foaming gel cleanser. Like I said, I'm not a fan of foams, um, but this is like a, or a, anything that foams, uh, like a foamy or a gel. But this is kind of like a milky gel and I only use a really small, small amount. Um, so it doesn't foam up a lot on me. And I actually find that my skin feels really fresh afterwards. It has this minty scent to it that is like, you can't smell it too much just like opening the, the top of it. But when you put it on, you're like, oh, it like really wakes me up in the morning, I have to say. And it really makes my skin feel really like fresh and bright. It's amazing like how minty scented products can do that. Um, so that's a really a great uh, point to this product. It's just the scent alone. Um, but if I use too much, my skin will feel a little tight. So that's the key I find with using any type of like foaming cleanser. Some people like love foaming cleansers, but for me, I'm, mm. but when I do find one I like, I just use a little bit and uh, still really, really like it. So those are the cleansers. Then next, um, I would start with the First Aid Beauty Skin Rescue Blemish Patrol Pads. Love these, holy grail find they're one of the best blemish pads on the market. I also use the Skin Radiance ones, which I also love as well. But I have found these truly, I've, I went on like, I did a little test for myself and like used these for the 30 days straight and then stopped for like two weeks. And sure enough, I like had a blemish pop up. They really are great at helping, you know, if you suffer from blemishes or occasional breakouts, they're really great. I actually can use them twice a day. They're that gentle. So they're really effective, but gentle. That's what I will say about these and, and the facial radiance pads as well. I am testing out another blemish patrol or a blemish pad also, um, 
I've been testing one out recently and I liked it a lot as well. Not as much as this, but I really did like it. So I'll be reviewing that in the blog soon, but highly recommend these. Um, you guys have seen me talk about them on my blog and on Instagram a lot. So be sure to check these out if you suffer from breakouts like me. Next, I put on the SK2 facial treatment essence. I use this morning and night. I reviewed this on the blog too as well. Um, a little goes a long way. I mean, I am barely even like not even halfway through and I've had it for a long time. So I just pour a little bit into my hand and I press it onto the skin rather than using a cotton pad. Um, I do find that I wasn't sure it was making a difference for me and then I stopped using it and I was like, oh, it did make a difference. So I find that it's like, here, it says skin balancing essence. That's what I find essences do for my skin. They really help to give my skin that added moisture because oily skin can be dehydrated and I do suffer from dehydration in my skin. I'm in, and sometimes I can tell just because I'll have dry patches, oily patches, and I can just tell my skin is out of balance. And this really helps to get my skin back into balance. It is definitely an investment, um, and it, but I know it will last me for a very long time. And I know it's quite a, a splurge, but I have found that it really um, makes a pretty big difference in my skin um, when using it. And like I said, it really helps to prepare my skin for the rest of the treatments that I'm going to have, because especially if my skin's kind of off balance after cleansing, it my, you know, the products that you put on afterwards are not going to work as well as they would if your skin was, uh, you know, nicely balanced. So we use this morning and night. Then I follow up my eye cream that I brought with me. Um, I'm almost actually out of this. I've been, I have a ton of eye creams at home, but I've been using two regularly and faithfully for quite a few months. Now the Sunday Riley active eye cream, which I didn't bring with me. I left that back at home. I typically use that at night because it's very, very rich and I don't tend to like the way concealer is over it um, but I use this during the day so I brought this with me to use day and night here it's the Bacal I hope that's how you pronounce it Bacal Cool Eyes and you can purchase this at Space NK it's a hundred percent active ingredients that's a great thing about this um, but what I really love about this product is it's hydrating it's good for like you know dark circles and puffiness and everything but it has this little roller ball at the top hope you can see that so the, the product comes out of the roller ball and you just kind of pat the product on your eye and then you roll the product onto your eye. So it really helps with like that puffiness that I get sometimes in the morning and the product is really hydrating and it's really kind of thin. It's almost like a watery texture and it really is nice and cooling on the skin. And I feel that it really, um, I find that I really like it in the morning, especially to help hydrate the eye area. Cause sometimes my allergies at night when I'm sleeping, I wake up, my eyes are kind of all like dry and uncomfortable and this really helps to just soothe under the eye there and any kind of concealer I put on top that helps to glide right on and you just pump the product right through the little pump down here and it comes up through the top next the serum that I brought is the Clarins double serum and I as you can see I mean I don't know if you can see it's literally like down to there I have used a lot of this product um, and I will finish it which is rare for me to finish a serum and what I can say about this serum is it's just a good standard anti-aging serum. It's great for all skin types. Almost any age range can use it like, you know, in your twenties up to if you're more mature, like I really find that it really will work for almost any age, any skin type. And that's what is, that's what's made this so popular over the years. It does target all those anti-aging concerns. So fine lines, wrinkles, kind of tone of the skin, texture of the skin, brightness. Um, and it does all of those things. But what I like about it is like just every time I use it and afterwards just my skin looks so smooth. It looks, it has kind of, it does feel a little bit firmer and my makeup just glides right on. And um, I also use it at night. I can be used morning or night. Typically when I'm at home, I save this for the morning time most of the time because I do like the way it soaks into my skin. I like the way my skin feels afterwards. Um, I only use one pump though, one. Because some people said, oh, it's too oily, it's too thick. And I find that one pump does my whole face and my skin feels so smooth afterwards and just great. And my makeup wears beautifully over it. So highly recommend trying this out. I don't feel there's ever one I get asked a lot, like, what is one cleanser that I need or one serum for me to try or just one magic product? There is no such thing. I mean, it, I, I wish there was, and if there was, that person who ever invented it would be a gazillionaire. But it really depends on your skin type, your age, your concerns, the time of year, the weather. There's so many different things that affect 
your skin that it's not one product that will just work for everybody. And it may not be what may work for you in the summer may not work for you in the winter. And what may work for you at 25 may not work for you at 55. So you really have to kind of almost, you know, adapt constantly. Your skincare has to adapt with the changing needs of your skin. But that being said, I do find that this is a really good, just basic anti-aging serum for most skin types. So like I said, there's not one magic cure, but if you're kind of looking for a new, great kind of anti-aging serum that kind of just cover all of the bases, not necessarily target one specific thing, like not target like only brightening or only firming, just kind of the whole shebang, then I would check this out. So during the day, the moisturizer that I use that I've been using for a while, it's broken, so I'm sorry, it's kind of like sitting, the top's just like sitting here, I just kind of like, I just kind of like poured out into my hand, um, is the REN T-Zone Balancing Day Fluid. It's actually, the name has changed to the Claremat Gel Fluid, I think. It's the same product, actually, just the, they've changed names, so it does look a little bit different. And it's a really lightweight lotion, it's great for combination to oily skin. I find that it does, it's not super mattifying, which I like. I don't need my, I don't need to have like a mattifying lotion and a mattifying primer and a mattifying powder. I would be like too matte, but I do find it's just a nice lightweight lotion. It deals well on my oily skin. It does help to deal, like it helps to keep me slightly matte. Um, and I just like the way it feels during the day on my skin. Um, it does not have any SPF. I use a separate sunscreen on top of this. At night, the moisturizer I've been using recently and I brought with me down here is the Biterry Cellulose Balm de O. I mean, it's, it's the name is like, I'm probably butchering the name, I'm so sorry. It's like all in French and I'm like, it's the Brightening Aqua Balm. That's what it's called. And then there's the French name above it. So um, this is exactly what it says, like a Brightening Aqua Balm. It is a really hydrating gel-like balm. So it mixes like the thickness of a balm and the texture of a gel. It's like a shot of water for my skin. It's, and I always, I've, I've said before in my blog and in different um, symptoms on my social media platforms, and I do find that one of the biggest, you know, um, tips that I can give is hydrating the skin because often hydration can cover a lot of those concerns that people face. So if the skin is dehydrated, it's gonna look more wrinkled, it's gonna, you know, fine lines are gonna show a little more. So I find that keeping my skin hydrated is often sometimes more of a priority to me than like using anti-aging products. So um, love, love, love this stuff. It is a small little jar, so, but I just use a small amount and it's just like a shot of water for my skin. So that's nighttime and I showed you the day. The SPF I brought, um, and I wanted a little bit stronger, um, I have the Sunday Riley Cashmere Sunscreen, which I adore, but it's SPF 30. I wanted a little bit more because I knew I was going to be out and about, and my parents live near the beach, so it's the Shiseido Urban Environment Oil-Free UV Protectant SPF 42. Love this stuff. So I was about to shake it like I'm going to put it on. Like, um, I like it because it's, it's re it actually works really well as a primer even because it is slightly mattifying when you apply it onto the skin. And that's why, like I said, I don't want my lotion that I use during the day to be too mattifying because this can be actually quite mattifying. And it's just a great lightweight, oil-free sunscreen. Highly recommend this. Um, and like I said, it does have a slightly mattifying effect on the skin so it can even act as a primer. And I brought with me, I, I will never go anywhere without an acne treatment. I didn't even, I didn't break out, but I won't go, I won't go anywhere without one, just in case one pops up, one rogue blemish comes up and like pops up on my face. And the Clinique Acne Solutions Clinical Clearing Gel, it's absolutely fantastic. I love this and the Mario Badescu Buffering Lotion. Those are my two kind of holy grail acne products and I won't go anywhere without them. So I've been using this, I just use a little bit on my finger and dab it on the blemish and it's pretty much a miracle gel. It does take a few days for a blemish to go away, so it's not gonna go away like overnight but I find that this really works wonders. Um, and I brought two sunscreens with me, the Dr. Dennis Gross Sheer Mineral Sun Spray SPF 50. This is what I wore when I went to Bush Gardens. This is actually a Holy Grail sunscreen, and I'll tell you why. It wears like a lotion. So it literally is that lightweight that you just spray it on and it feels like a body lotion. Uh, versus like some SPFs where it's like sticky and it feels like a sunscreen, not cute. But this is my Holy Grail 
sunscreen or wear it as a lotion. Um, but I actually do have a, uh, I did bring my Kiehl's Creme Decor Lightweight Body Lotion with SPF 30. They have discontinued this, unfortunately. Um, I really liked it because I love the Creme Decor line from Kiehl's, one of my favorite body lotions that they make. Um, but I just use this kind of on my arms and legs when I'm running about, running errands and stuff like that in the sun. And then I brought one fragrance and it is the Nest Fragrances Indigo Eau de Parfum. And um, I love the Nest Fragrances and this Indigo, it's kind of sweet. Um, which I like. I like this one in Paradise and Midnight Floor and White Sandalwood. So I mean, I love them all really actually, but this is the one I brought with me on vacation and that's it. That's my skincare um, collection that I brought with me both morning and night uh, for vacation. And then like I said, I did film a video with all the beauty products or makeup products that I brought. So be sure to check that out and I will see you guys next time. Okay. Bye.